So hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Sabrina Turk. I'm an Associate Professor of Art History and the Assistant Dean for Research um, at the College of Arts and Creative Enterprises at Syed University. And I it was or am the curator for this ex ex exhibition of Kasha's work. Um, I'm really sorry I can't be with you in person for this webinar, but I wanted to just share a few thoughts. Um, Woodman was kind enough to provide me with some questions um, ahead of time, and so I've just prepared a few slides to talk a little bit about some of the ideas and process behind curating the exhibition. So the gallery space that we had to work with is um, not it's not tiny, but it's not the biggest space in the world either, let's be, be fair. Um, and so we had to really think about, you know, what was going to be a good flow for the work? Um, what would people be seeing when they first stepped into the space? And it also has two entry points to the gallery. So I wanted to make sure that we had the works fairly evenly spaced out so that no matter where people entered the space that they would get um, a kind of good overview of the work. But of course, there are some things that um, there's only one of. We're going to see that in the next slide when we talk about process. So we had to make a little bit of a decision of, you know, one side is a bit more focused on um, some of the, the grid-like aspects of the work, which you're kind of seeing here in this arrangement. Um, and the other side takes you in with first more of a bit of a focus on the process. Um, there's also the video component, which I don't have a, a photograph of, but you've obviously seen um, Kasha's video. And I really wanted to make sure that that was both present, but also set apart a bit from the work itself, um, so that it stood almost as a, a kind of didactic or uh, educational element within the exhibition. And then you would move from there to really more directly engage with the artworks. So one of the things that was also really important to me in curating this show was to really think about uh, how we could convey to the visitor the process that Kasha used to create these pieces, which is, as you've heard, um, is both extremely interesting and extremely intense. And it has um, a lot of bearing on the interpretation of the works as well. So she and I um, kind of brainstormed a little bit and what I brought to the table was the idea that it would be really nice to show, as you can see in the background here, the actual drawings from which the layers of the pieces emerged um, so that people would really understand that what they're looking at as a finished product is in fact this layered artwork that has multiple components to it. And then Kasha mentioned that she had actually saved, um, this is such a, a very typical um, artist of her to have actually saved all of the raw materials of the pieces that were um, laser cut out of each piece of paper. And so we then came to the idea through a little bit more brainstorming of just putting those on a pedestal, as you can see here in the exhibition to again, really kind of bring home for folks just how labor intensive this work is um, to you know, sort of show almost the absent presence as it were of the, um, the parts of the works that have been cut away. We'd honestly be totally happy if people um, picked up a few of these and put them in their pockets and took them home. So if any of you are on the Abu Dhabi campus, you can, uh, you can certainly stop by and do that. Um, but we just wanted to create this part of the exhibition, this space that really focused on the, uh, the process piece. Um, so if you walked in so if you walk in one direction, this is what you're seeing. Um, as I said, much more of a focus on the work itself and really trying to vary the sizes and the presentation to um, get a sense of rhythm and flow that's going there. If you walk in from the other direction, from the opposite door, uh, this is more of what you'll come across um, immediately. So you're sort of immediately thrust into some of the process aspects of the, uh, the exhibition. Of course, anytime that you're curating something, um, one of the things that you're really thinking about is your audience. And because this is an exhibition that takes place at Syed University on the Abu Dhabi campus, one of the things that was important to me was to create um, something that would be easily accessible for particularly our students and also to a certain extent our faculty because those are gonna be our primary audiences. So that was another reason behind really wanting to show 
that process and to have the video there. And um, my curator statement is even, um, it, it's a little bit more lighthearted. It's a little bit um, uh, almost more essay-like rather than a, a kind of scholarly work um, so that it really would speak to the folks who are most likely to be seeing this exhibition. Um, and I'm hoping that by doing this, that our students will actually have the chance to really think about, you know, what does it take to create a body of work like this? Um, you know, what is that experience of the, the process of creating like? How do things, you know, kind of fit together and come together in the end? to make a concerted body of work. Um, and so in that way, I'm hoping that the exhibition will have not only the, the visual impact and kind of the aesthetic that um, is brought from, you know, Prussia's beautiful works of art, but also will have a kind of educational component for our student audience to almost get a little bit of a kind of behind the scenes look at what's being um, shown here. And so, of course, the wall text and the labels, um, the statements, things that were written to go along with this are also done with that in mind so that it's not just about, uh, you know, here's a beautiful work of art on the wall. Let's just, you know, look at it whole cloth and forget about what actually went behind it. Um, but it's much more about here's a beautiful work of art on the wall. Now let's interrogate and look at what goes into that. And again, because Kasha's work is so much about process and repetition and this idea of, you know, the things that we do over and over again, I think there's also a really important linkage there between the thematic qualities of her work and the visual qualities of her work. And by showing those process aspects, we're able to um, maybe kind of bridge those, those um, aspects of what is being shown here. So that's just a really brief um, overview of some of the, the kind of curatorial uh, agenda, if you will, behind uh, putting this exhibition together. It was really great working with Kasha. Um, it, was, it was lovely to be back on the Abu Dhabi campus after about 10 months um, to be able to put this up in person. And uh, I really appreciate the opportunity both to work with her on the ex exhibition and to share a few thoughts with you all. So thank you.